Uh, he was a kind of uh, prop for the Chicago Opera at one point as a child. Uh, he, 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 he seems to have been bred in a world of theater. And then, uh, with the death of his mother, uh, and uh, with the alcoholism of his father, uh, he was turned over to a guardian at a very early age. He seems to have had a very problematic relationship with that guardian. Uh, the thing that seems to have saved him uh, was being sent to the, to the Todd School for Boys, uh, where he encountered the tutelage of Roger Hill, a kind of benevolent father substitute who was now uh, an artistic figure, able to guide all those artistic impulses from youth. In the sixth grade, he was uh, he was already directing things. All of a sudden, in here comes a, a, a little bit of a kid in a flowing cape. I think it was supposed to be a flame in there. And it wasn't a, a flame. And he had said it was going to be a flame. And the amazing thing was how he very professionally covered the whole thing that uh, uh, with a stentorian lecture on uh, uh, what could go wrong and with magicians and so on. It was terrifically mature and, and that's the first time that, uh, that I realized that by luck uh, I had a kid that I was going to uh, use a lot. 